I mean, I am an artist, and so, and and drawing is a kind of nutrition for the work that I make. I don't make drawings that are intended to be um, the, the the ultimate concluded things. I make them as um, as part of the me working out what I'm going to do next, and to that extent, they're they're um, they're a way of just me taking a thought and putting it down into something I can I can I can see and I tend to start most days sitting on a, a little stool with a wad of paper that's always the same size on the floor beneath my feet and um, just beginning I used to call them I used to call them doodles and that was a kind of bit of wanton um, Self-deprecation. I think they're a bit more than that. They're, they're, um, they are, they are me thinking aloud and trying to tune ideas and just work out what I might be doing. And some of them get turned into other more substantial pieces of work, and others just end up. Most of them end up in a plan chest. And I have, you know, I have thirty years of these things, and <laughs> they take up a lot. I used to often they would be neglected. It's, it's comparatively deep into that last 30 years that I began to try and kind of keep them and archive them or well, archives a bit grand but just preserve them so they are I mean this is a and this is a random this is a real a random selection of I didn't try and select um, any particular um, you know fineries in these that they're just so th I mean this one which comes out is you know what what two people having a fight might look like and um, I mean it was made I mean it was probably a, a drawing that was made it's dated 11 it might have been an early drawing that was made for the big country print that was shown at the end of last year um, so they're in no particular order um, this is a painting this is a drawing for a painting and I think there may be another version of this in this stack, as far as I can recall. But it was that it was a painting that I think is when it when it ultimately ultimately got concluded. I think you would one would recognise this this being an element in it. But this is very much a sort of plotting out where where things might go. It's it's kind of a way that I perhaps might see whether there is whether there is, whether whether it's an idea that had legs on it. Um, again, these drawings are just of kind of slightly trying to create, I guess, slightly charged um, domestic ordinariness. Um, sometimes I, sometimes when I'm plotting things out, I'm, I mean, this drawing might have been made. Um, I think this drawing is actually made sitting outside, looking at a false, false. Uh, I um, mentor, which I think is a type of tree, um, but that that's the exception. Most of these, as I said at the beginning, are done in the in the studio, um, where I where I make the large share of what I what I what I do what I do. Um, again, this you know, in, in the drawing like this, which is dated two thousand and eight. Um, Subsequently, I think a painting did appear, a couple of paintings appeared with baths in, and certainly numerous paintings appeared with stacks of furniture. Um, but there, and, and, and even more with, with um, lights and trailing flexes, which is a kind of visual device for leading you around a painting. Um, so there would have been, you know, there the, the will be um, many drawings with, that have slight alterations of any of these. Um, the drawing of what a horse looks like, just, um, I, I guess, I guess um, there is a, there is, in the journey that I make when I'm, I am doing these sort of loose kind of visual inquiries, so, um, as they begin to um, be, refined or maybe selected into becoming um, a more concluded piece of work that occasionally they they get drawn out more specifically um, 
I know that this particular drawing was um, one of a this a preparation for one of a quartet of drawings, which is still in progress and will probably become a printed piece of work. Um, and it's it's based on a it was based on a story by Annie Prue about a horse that ate a man. Um, I don't know whether the camera picks it up, but here is a section of a man. And the, the, it's a sequential drawing in that the, the horse gets... It starts off with a small bit of horse and a whole bit of man, and the horse gets more... So this would have been the final drawing, actually. The, um, it concludes with the, the, the horse becoming whole and the man becoming... You know, kind of the suggestion that the, the horse has gotten. Um, Frequently I draw when I'm on the telephone. Um, I know that sitting in, when, I, when, when artists sit in meetings, they doodle. Um, um, so I'm, I'm, I am, I'm having ideas as I'm, as I'm having book, telephone conversations and they, they go down. Um, often decisions I'm making and using drawings for are to to um, to encourage brevity and how to make things as simple as possible. Um, hence the, the the outline becoming important. This is a drawing that certainly is um, became a painting. I think it became a couple of paintings. Became a big painting. Um, the painting was more complicated in scale um, within the image changes, but. It was certainly on a on a journey. Um, I mean, images repeat themselves as um, over years, and I can't come back to to um, images time and again. And one of those is people falling and uh, falling out of trees. Um, so, so that is someone falling out of a tree. This drawing relates to the earlier drawing that I. I, I showed, and again, a, a variant on it of the figure on the sofa. Um, um, I know that in the making of the pack, I try and get as much information that may become a painting as possible through these drawings. Um, I know that in the painting, that figure is omitted, although I, I know that he was drawn into the, the second figure. The painting ha ended up having just the figure on the on the sofa, um, although the second figure was there for a while. Uh, what have we got here? Another another guy falling out of a tree. And um, just in case you didn't know he was falling, there are some direction arrows in it. Um, and finally of the drawings I've got here is um, a dog sitting on top of a ladder. Um, and ladders have appeared over a couple of years in a number of paintings. I mean these these drawings are made on heavy uh, watercolour paper um, and they're used, in the most part they're done with a brush and ink and that's just a sort of loose way of plotting things out. Um, they're the piece of paper invariably the same size um, and they become they, they usually become slightly refined if they're going to become something else. Um, the paintings that are made from them, um, and that's quarter of quarter of A one, uh, uh, quarter of Imperial. Um, the paintings tend to be that sort of format, but up to uh, um, a proportion of one hundred eighty centimeters by two meters, um, and and up up. up expanding in those, those that sort of proportion. Um, there, I mean, as I'm as I'm doing these, I'm I'm it's I'm almost having conversation with the with the with the piece of paper of trying to trying to have a trying to make a dialogue with the drawing that I'm making um, to find interest in there. To find to see whether there is something that can be used. Um, I that they're not 
done with any true um, expectation, or, but as, as interest grows, I will then begin to refine them and the variants that would follow either side of these, these drawings, which are, you know, as, as you can see are very, are very loose, are to do with um, adding attention to them. So if, um, if, there's, if the drawing is of somebody standing on the ladder, one drawing might be like this, and the next drawing might so just just to kind of pull weight around and pull, pull um, pull pull a, a, a it's, that in itself is a type of refinement. It's it's a way of stacking it away from the initial the image. Drawing, I think, is a, actually is at the kind of root of everything that I do. I mean, a lot of it is to do with, as as I said, is trying to get trying to whittle whittle the things out. But it's a way of me find. It's a way of me looking at an idea, um, an idea that exists in the abstract in my mind by by manifesting itself by by by, by looking at it. Then I I will learn more about it. I mean, there are exceptions in these drawings. I mean, there's a that drawing I think has um as somebody moving, I, I guess I notice that there's, that a, a action is, is, is kept to a minimum, that they're normally static, um, and that's because, um, I mean, as I, am, as I am having that dialogue with the figure that I'm drawing, and you know, I think sometimes I even find myself sort of talking to those people. Um, it's, it, it, it is a dialogue, so it's not a scene of watching watching something happen it's a it's a kind of creating a type of intimacy